Okay, so we want to talk about air dryers. Now, it doesn't matter what air dryer you have. It could be a Bendix, it could be a CR, it could be a Wabco, it could be a Halidex, whatever you've got. The principles when it comes to hooking the dryer up to the air compressor is virtually the same. We're going to talk a little bit about the differences, but let's just take the common three-line system. Okay? So what do you got on your dryer? You've got a supply line where your air goes in from your air compressor. You've got a delivery line where your air goes to your wet tank or your first tank. And you've got a control line that tells the dryer when to purge. Okay, so where do they go? How do they hook in? So you've taken your dryer and you've mounted it to the frame. You've taken your old one back and given it for a core or whatever. So our supply line, what goes here? Well, our line comes from the output or the discharge of the air compressor. Runs across, goes into the supply line. Now, the majority of air dryers today have a desiccant bed inside them. Small beads, clay balls and whatnot with chemical mixed in. And what happens is that air passes through that desiccant bed, is cleaned, the moisture, contaminants that are in your air system go through that bed. The clean air comes out the discharge line and goes to your tank. This line, the control line, goes to your governor. So remember the center section of your governor is your unloader ports. So from one of these lines here, in the center portion, a line, a small number four wire braided line, will come to your control port. And that'll purge your dryer. Okay? So that'll open your purge valve, and your heavier contaminants will blow out into atmosphere. Now, because there's an exhaust on an air dryer, the air dryer is often blamed for governor problems, for unloader problems in the compressor, for lines that leak between the governor and the compressor. It often gets blamed for things because it has an open orifice that goes to atmosphere. So make sure when you're changing your dryer that if you install your new one and you've got the same problem, well chances are your problem is upstream in your governor or in the unloader of your air compressor. So make sure you plumb your dryer correctly. Okay. Let's go on and talk a little bit about applications of dryers. Now, a three-line system was basic, was common, was in everything. But today, what we've got is we've got air dryers that have a fourth line. You see, back a while ago, uh, Holset, or Cummins, and SKF, or I should say CR, sorry about that, CR, got together with Holset, and they designed a four-line system. Okay, so in a Cummins compressor where you're running a, a QE or an E-type compressor, they call them, you require a fourth line on your air dryer. So you need to make sure that when you're changing your air dryer that you put the right application on. You see, you've still got your supply port, you've got your control port, you've got your delivery port, but you've got a fourth line here that's an open check valve that goes into your supply line. And the purpose of that was that the engineers felt that they could control oil on the Cummins compressor by maintaining head pressure. So on the old three-line system, what happened is when you purged your dryer, your discharge line was emptied. But now what happens on this particular application is when your dryer purges, this small makeup line sends air back into your supply and charges your discharge line. So your air compressor is actually working under load all the time. So make sure when you're changing your dryer on a Cummins engine that you put the right application air dryer on it. Be sure of that because it'll cause all kinds of problems in the unloading, in the purging, and your compressor will actually start pumping oil if you put the standard air dryer on. As well, remember that all dryers are CFM rated. So they, are only, they can only handle certain compressors. Make sure that your air dryer, for the most part, is like for like when it comes to CFM. And the application is correct. And by doing so, you'll have uh, an air system that will work properly as the OM intended, OEM intended.